Hey guys, for this video we're going to take a look at this Moa Jerry Retro Game Stick. Recently picked this thing up and one of the biggest things I want to do in this video is show you some of the games that are included because I didn't see a game list at all and that's incredibly important. But real quick on some of the features, plugs into the HDMI port of basically any device you have. It does have a USB on the back and that is for the included Wi-Fi adapter. We also have a charge port and it comes with that cable. A lot of TVs have a USB port in the back. Sometimes, not always, you can use that port to power this box. So I would try that first. If it doesn't work, you're going to have to run it to an outlet. It does come with the micro SD card. That's a 64 gigabyte card. I haven't played with it, but I'm really hoping that we can add or change our games if we try that in a computer. Showed you the wireless adapter. Oh, you also get this extension cord. It's HDMI on both sides. This is really important for me. I have a LED projector on a small shelf and a Amazon Fire Stick that's just about this size. All the ports are in the back. When the stick is plugged in, I can't fit it on the shelf anymore. But when you use a little cable like this, you can bring it down, bring it off to the side, and it fits again. So depending on your space or area, that's actually pretty important. We do get two controllers. It's a PlayStation style controller. You got the on off switch there. The battery cover here it takes two AAA batteries per remote, not included. Let's plug it in, see what games we got. Okay, so super easy, plug and play, came right on. Now, if you look at the, across the top, there's different bars of list, class, history, collect, search, and download. Not sure what all of them do, but you can see we're on the list tab. Now, R1 and L1 switch you between those. From here, you can see all the different systems. I don't know what FC stands for. That's a Nintendo, but I don't know what the FC is. Then you have Game Boy here. You have Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color. That's the that's a Sega Genesis, but I think they called it Mega Drive in like Europe or something. You have a Super Nintendo, PlayStation 1, and you have Atari. I'm going to try and just quickly go through as many games as we can so you get an idea of what we have. I noticed some things, their names are different than what I... Like I looked at the PlayStation ones and they have Twisted Metal, but they called it uh, Chariots of Fire or something. I don't know what they called it, but it... Didn't say Twisted Metal, but the screen was definitely Twisted Metal. And we'll open one of these up before we turn it off. But I'm just going to scroll through. It may be fast, but there's so many games on here. I just want you to have an idea of what you're getting. And we'll breeze through each of the categories. Some definitely seem a little redundant. But a lot of name brand games that... You know, sometimes you get these and you've never heard of any game on the device. And it's all just goofy stuff. But these actually have quite a bit of things you'll probably recognize if you're around my age. That you played as a kid. There are still some of the goofy ones I've never heard of. Final Fight will be fun. All the plane shooting games, those are pretty fun too. I have that as Arcade 1 Up and it's not too bad. We're still going through this first system. I hope that even says Sega right on it. Afterburner, that's fun. some point I think we're just scrolling through all the games whether it's in that system or not because it looks like it's just alphabetical. Either way, here we go. Altered Beast. That was popular at one time. Oh, that. American Speedway. I've never played that. i got to try that one.
But we're still in the A's. <laughs> this is going to take a while. Alien Storm. Man, a bunch of Tetris ones. Bad dudes. Bomberman. Hey, at least we're into the bees. Big bucks. And I cannot lie. Blades of Steel. Oh, what was that? Ah, Baseball Stars. One of my favorites. I've never played this one. Okay. It's good to know. Mental Note. Burger Time's kind of cool. Put your burger together. I don't remember how many games this thing said was included, but I just noticed at the top... We're on page 67 of 1153. I don't know if I can scroll through all of these. One thing that is good to see, though, is there's a lot of, like, legitimate games. They're not just, you know, the random things you've never heard of. Chase HQ, that's good. And I'm hoping, I mean, there's a search function so we could type in the names of things, even though some of the names aren't the same. Boy, at least there's a history section. It'd be nice if there was a favorites. Maybe that's the collect tab. Contra. Okay, let's try something else, because that's less than 10% of the whole thing. Let's see. My favorite system was Sega. So let's see what all... Let me see. Specifically listed for the Sega. Oh boy, going back to this alphabetical order thing. Boy, there's a lot of games. I feel like the best way to say it is there's a lot of games. Let's try this again. Let's go to... PlayStation, because that's the newest system on the list. Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter. Ha ha ha, that game was so cool. <laughs> oh, Driver's really good too. Tekken. See, oh, see here's Chariots of Fire. It's Twisted Metal 2, which is still a great game. And I actually like 2 better, so I'm glad it's on here. I don't see the first one, though. Okay, so that one was a smaller list. Oh, you can favorite it! That's what the collect button does. I just hit R2, 
And that's what that little star pops up for. So as we find our games, let me go back to oh, 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 WrestleMania for sure. And then we also need our Twisted Metal. Where did it go? There we go, down here, down here. Boom, now let's go to collect. Yes, perfect. Okay, let's... Uh, uh, I don't know which one of these would be better to go to. Let's see what happens. Oh, yeah. We're leaving the sound off just in case anything's bad. But it was working as I was scrolling through. It beeped every time I hit a button, which was not my favorite. <laughs> Gotta go with Bam Bam Bigelow. <laughs> oh, Razor Ramon. Oh, I should have been Razor. Boy, I haven't played this in a while. This is going to be very bad. How do we do things? How do we do things? Ooh. No! <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, that's punching. Got it, got it. That punches. I don't know how to get out of that. Or how to do it myself. <laughs> I know how to run, apparently. This is not going well. This is not going well at all. <laughs> Razor's Edge two in a row. Oh, that was embarrassing. Okay, I guess we got to practice. Real quick, one other thing that's important. If you hit select and start on the remote at the same time, this menu comes up and we have resume, restart, save slot, save state, load state, controls. That would have been a good one to see before. Okay, I don't know how to select controls because none of the buttons are doing anything. Maybe it just doesn't have the controls for WrestleMania because restart worked just fine. Anyway, press select and start and at least that menu comes up and you can save your spot. So there you go, guys. Pretty fun. I think it works really well. Thanks for watching.